Hey, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to break down the top players on tonight's NBA DFS slate. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. Five games on the slate. You know, not a whole lot of options at each price range, so we'll hit on a few at each. We'll begin at the point guard position, and it's kind of where we began two days ago. And it's Kyrie Irving, who's priced at $10,000 for the Brooklyn Nets tonight. No Kevin Durant which means you got to get Kyrie in there. It's pretty simple. Yeah, this is kind of what we saw the other night. You know, he finished with 50.7 FanDuel points against the Jazz in only 29 minutes. And I want to say, like, we didn't see the actual ceiling potential for Kyrie because he didn't play a single minute in the fourth quarter. The Nets won that game by 30, 30, 35 points, whatever it was. So we didn't see him out there for the full time. You know, the 31.9% usage rate, the 1.67 of FanDuel points per minute we're getting when Durant is off the court is what we want to be banking on. So tonight against the 76ers, we see the Nets as a two-point home underdog. So if we see Kyrie out there for 36, 38 minutes, what he could or should be out there for in a normal game, 60, 65 FanDuel points is firmly on the table tonight. The upside is six times he's valued here, $10,000. If he's like up over 35 minutes, Kyrie Irving is going to give you major, major dividend. That's what we expect tonight. Irving at $10,000 needs to be locked into your lineups. Michael Porter battled some COVID-related issues, but he's back for the Denver Nuggets, and he's priced at $6,700 tonight. Is it because he, it's his first game back that he's a little bit underpriced here, Tom? No, I like to think that he could break his salary-based expectations tonight. $6,700, like you said, I think is where he should be priced around. You know, he was off to a pretty strong start. Granted, it was only two games for the Nuggets. Uh, He's carrying a 22.1% usage rate, posting 1.27 FanDuel points per minute. You know, really looking solid uh, for the Nuggets, needing to be that third star for them behind Jokic and Murray. I love the spot for him tonight going up against the Mavericks. Good two uh, two and a half point spread, 224.0 over under. Right now, the Mavericks are middle of the league when it comes to defense. They're looking okay to start the year. They're allowing 42 FanDuel points per game to opposing small forwards. That's 19th in the league. So given this price tag, I think is is pretty modest. Uh, given the whole game environment, two point spread, high over under. I uh, really like him in this spot. All right. So the price is right here for Michael Porter Jr. here against the Dallas Mavericks. Choose defense, kind of spotty. Should be a high scoring affair. Should be a fun game between the Nuggets and the Mavs. Michael Porter Jr. $6,700 here this evening. Finally, you saw it two days ago. Juan Hernan Gomez went off for the Minnesota Timberwolves without um, Carl Anthony Towns in the lineup. Nas Reed take a step back, and it was Hernan Gomez that really stepped up for Minnesota. Tonight, he's barely priced over $4,000, $4,200, which means he should be locked and loaded in there. Absolutely. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I spoke about Reed and he was the play. He was seeing the minutes and now it's Hernan Goldman seeing uh, 25 and 34 minutes in these past two games. Now, the production is kind of all over the place in those two games, as low as 15, up at 46, what we saw in the most recent game. But uh, this matchup against Portland is something that we absolutely want to be attacking. Right now, Minnesota is sitting at 10th in pace. Portland is sitting up at 7th, a 233-point over-under. So we're going to lock in those hopefully 28 to 34 minutes from players $4,200, who has apparently a 40-point ceiling in a super high over-under game with plenty of pace. I'll take Hernan Gomez tonight. Fast-paced, high-scoring affair. Hernan Gomez knows, has shown that he could score the basketball, and he also showed that he could put up quite a bit of FanDuel points. Only $4,200 tonight. As I said, a must-play, a lock and load for me over on FanDuel. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel Hurry. Up. Tom, we appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Yep, talk to you next week. Have a good one. Absolutely. I'll talk to you Monday next week here on the Hurry Up. But tomorrow... Jim Sonos will wrap up our Super Wild Card Weekend coverage as we go over the top DFS stacks for this weekend in the NFL playoffs. For Tom Becchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck tonight, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.